All right, I'm 365 days of horsemanship. Um, today I'm going to be talking about day 65 and 66. Um, day 65 um, was my first day back at work. Um, I had a super long shift, like 13 and a half hours or something. And, um, and I just was exhausted, came up with a migraine. Um, and yeah, really just did the minimal. Um, which has kind of been annoyingly the theme of the week. I'm hoping for maybe slightly more today. Um, it's just ended up being a really busy week. Um, so I came up on, let's see what day is it today? Today's Thursday. So I came up on Tuesday and it was, yeah, I just felt like rubbish. Um, I went and, um, went and hung out with Mia, which was really nice actually, because she put her head up to see me straight away, which I was really happy with. Um, and I felt really good about that, especially because we've been playing a little bit more with, you know, how we're haltering and rather than just pressing on her hind end, like actually just engaging at the front end and seeing if she's ready and just asking her politely for her head. Um, so I was really happy with that. And I just did a few minutes of flow with her just really for maintenance. And I do think it's so important. Like, yeah, absolutely. You know, I've got a migraine. I need to take care of myself as well. But actually, I think that having that consistency with them is so important. So I was really happy that I still came. I went to do Lawrence's um, painkillers. That went really well, really nicely. Um, and then I just stood with him for a little bit, which was also really nice. Um, he's just been fed, so he wasn't like super worried about me anyway, which was actually quite good. Um, definitely as I was walking away, I saw him look up at me and I felt bad. I felt bad that I'd not had more time to spend with him, but I just didn't have it. Um, yeah, then I came up yesterday. Um, I'm now on late shifts and night shifts, which is why I'm a little tired. Um, I feel like I'm like constantly tired. I uh, I do recognise that it's because I have so much stuff to do and I need to stop taking on so much stuff. Um, but we're coming to the end of the the, the really big to-do list period. Um, so this should all get better soon, I hope. Um, yeah, yesterday I came up and I took Mia up to do her plaits, which is just an annoying thing that I just didn't really want to have to do this week um, because it just really sucked all of my playing time out um, and I'm gonna have to do them again today um, so I'm gonna feel the same again today I'm hoping that um, I don't have to be at work for about another three hours so I'm hoping I do need to have a bath and some food and stuff um, before I go so I'm hoping that I might just be able to stretch it and get an hour and a half here which should be enough to do her plats and then have a little play and a little play with Lawrence hopefully um, fingers crossed um, but yeah, yesterday I just didn't have the time. So I brought her up and I did her plaits. And actually that was okay. She doesn't, she didn't really like me doing her plaits yesterday. I'm not really sure why. Um, maybe I just was too fast with them. When I pulled her, I didn't realise. I'm not sure. Um, but I, you know, did my best. They are something that has to be done. Um, so... Yeah, so we'll see how she is today. Those top ones, I think, do annoy her more. And I think she's probably a little itchy as well. I think the pollen count's quite high. I can feel my sinus is going. So, so that was nice. That was okay. It was, you know, practical. And she put her head up straight away for me. And the haltering felt much nicer, um, which was really good. And I definitely feel like, when I look back on where we were at Elsa's, I definitely feel like things are consistently better now. I definitely feel like we've made improvement. It is really slow. Um, and I definitely am appreciating the difference between my relationship with Lawrence and my relationship with Mia. But I think things are definitely getting better with Mia. I think we are definitely building that relationship, but it's just really slow. Um, today, I really want to come in with the mindset of, um, trying to meet her needs and be somebody who's comfortable for her and to bring that energy that she's looking for. You know, I was thinking a little bit last night about how, 
she just doesn't really need a lot of stuff um or she doesn't portray that she needs a lot of stuff as she doesn't really spend that much time engaging in activities that she enjoys so it's quite difficult to pinpoint things that she enjoys she's not really social she doesn't really have any friends she doesn't really appear to have she does clearly have quite a high play drive because that manifests itself in a lot of fight but i don't see her very often playing in a way that's comfortable so it's sort of like i need to make it up write the rules or like find games for us to play which is outside of my comfort zone as well um so i'm just really i think trying to just trying to just create a comfortable energy for her that she does feel is something that she can settle into something that works for her and try and come with that energy i think it's difficult with i think with when i'm tired with lawrence he can quite easily be tired with me especially now that he's old um whereas i think with mia I think she does appreciate the time to rest with me, but I think long term she needs more excitement, more energy. And I do have excitement and energy. Um, but it's just working out how to have that without that being concerning for her. Because usually if I have excitement and energy, she's then concerned about me as a predator. So yeah, so that I'm hoping today I'm gonna do her plats and then have a little play and see how that goes. Um yeah with Lawrence yesterday he came did his painkillers um and um and then worked on his neck a little bit and that was good that was nice um he then wanted to rest a bit and again I could have rested with him for longer um <laughs> Darcy's just uh watching me from across the field <laughs> cute just thinking about it <laughs> um yeah um I, I did i did again wish i'd had that more time to rest and i am really excited for when i don't have all these other things to do with my time um and i can literally just work sleep eat horses um i just really yeah like you know today is day 67 um and yeah and i feel good about it like i feel I've made a lot of really positive habits um, and I'm really excited for this all to just grow um, because I think it will do. I, I, you know, I've, I'm determined to set up that space and the space I'm going to have for them is only going to get more and more. Um, I think it can be frustrating. Like I'm frustrated this week. I don't have more time. Um, and I, that's one of the reasons why this is like three days late again that I'm filming this um, because I just have felt so pressed for time wanting to squeeze out every minute with them that I've just not had time to film the videos before I've left the yard because I've been rushing to the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. So I'm excited for when that's not the case um, for sure. I think I just need to be patient and just work within my bandwidth, within my limits, within every, everyone's bandwidth. <laughs> Um, just because my bandwidth is being set for me rather than being a, a choice that I'm recognizing in myself, um, it makes it more frustrating, but it doesn't make it any less valid. You know, I, I, I am too busy to give them any more time and that's okay. And I'm giving them everything that I have. And so I should be proud of that, you know? Um, so yeah, so, um, not going to ramble on anymore because I'm going to need to do another one of these when I finish. Um, so I'm going to go and, um, yeah, grab me up.